Well, it's time for a new YouTube video. This is in regards to celebrity know-it-alls who are telling us how important it is to vote. Vote in a hero. Vote in the good guy or girl. Well, time to listen to what kind of drivel they have to say to us poor common folk. Let's dive right in. On Tuesday, November 8th, this country will make one of the most important... The most important... The most important decisions in its history. You have a chance. You have an obligation. To be a part of that decision. You have a chance to affect all and save the rest of those poor souls from themselves. <sighs> you might think it's not important. You might think you're not important, but that's not true. You might not think you're important, but listen to us celebrities worth millions of dollars. Right. Just listen to celebrities, though, because they know more about you than yourself. And the only way we can prove that to you is by having lots of famous people. Lots of famous people. Lots and lots of famous people. Just a shit ton of famous people. So in order to convince you and for you to be led by this propaganda bullshit, we're going to get lots of famous people and some not so famous people. A few blacks and minorities in there too, just so that you know you're PC uh, friendly. Huh. And then we're going to tell you, the common folk, the common person who has no brains to think for themselves and to do their own research in regards to the new presidential candidate, your politics, the runnings of your country, we're going to tell it for you. Man, you know, it's, it's such, this is such propaganda bullshit and it's already going to be very biased and I know it's going to be very anti-Trump. I guarantee it. Repeating how important, 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 how important it is. Oh, they have a cue card with the word important on it. Just to like hone it down for you people who don't understand what the word important means. Register. 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 Vote. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's say that again. Register. 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 By the way, ladies and gentlemen, Nathan Fillion is Canadian. Technically, as far as I know, he's not a uh, half American, so he can't really vote for this uh, American presidency. I'm Canadian. I can't really vote because I am not an American citizen. Boy, sometimes I wish, though. So many famous people. Some of us aren't as famous, but still pretty famous. Like, some of us aren't as famous. Wow. You're rejecting, aren't you? <laughs> and who are half of these people? I don't fucking know. Jesus Christ. Like, you've seen us somewhere. Oh, I'm sure I've seen you in some porno somewhere. You have the talent for it. I'm sure you do. Sometimes a not famous person will be mixed in with the famous ones. You'll be mixed in with the famous ones while you're not famous? What are you? The babysitter of uh, Apple? Gwyneth Paltrow's daughter? Are you the housekeeping? <laughs> housekeeping. If I had one, I wouldn't even speak to mine. They drive the message home because of their unpolished sincerity. I'm sorry, what did you say? So their unpolished sincerity. Can you maybe speak proper English first before actually going into this commercial? Again, they're just sticking in minorities just to appease the PC people and SJWs. <laughs> Fuck. Their unpolished sincerity. Wait. Did Robert Downey Jr., a rich white actor, just correct this Latino woman on her English? <laughs> oh my God, it's, this isn't acting, people. You can't be this good. Like, this is real. But you only get this many famous people together if the issue is one that truly matters to all of us. You know what, I guarantee they keep emphasizing about all these famous people getting together. I bet you that none of them even met each other. This is just them placed in one room with a white background and the director said, roll film, say what we tell you, we'll pay you, and then they book it. I guarantee it. A disease or ecological crisis. You know, let's stop for a second here and look at all these celebrities here. So we have Robert Downing Jr. who is talking to you about how important it is to vote so that you can affect your country, Americans. But let's see what his net worth is, shall we? Robert Downing Jr.'s net worth and salary is roughly $240 million. Yeah, if that's not privileged, I don't know what is. You're fucking a white male! Hmm, 
Hmm. Now let's look at Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson's net worth says it's $80 million and she's earning more than $10 million per movie and it keeps growing. Man, geez, that equal pay bullshit, huh? Why is Robert Downey Jr. worth more than Scarlett Johansson? Well, that's sexism. And how about good old Mark Ruffalo? We all know that one, male feminist. Pfft. He's worth $20 million. Hmm. Now, is he okay with Scarlett Johansson, a woman, a female actress, making more money than he? I mean, where's that equal pay bullshit for men? Or a racist, abusive coward who could permanently damage the fabric of our society. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is a jab towards Donald Trump. It's not a jab towards Hillary Clinton. Criminal. Liar. <laughs> no, no, this is definitely anti-Trump. And love how they use a black actor to emphasize the idea of racism. Now, is it racist of me, a white young man, to criticize this black actor talking about racism and how the directors for this propaganda ad uh, is using a black person to talk about how bad racism is? <sighs> We really want to give nuclear weapons to a man whose signature move is firing. Firing. Firing things. Firing things. You are comparing two different things here, okay? Having having access to nuclear warheads in order to attack another country, to start a war, or even to defend your country has no comparison to a businessman who is in Hollywood, who has TV shows dealing with firing people based on their merit and lack of hard work. I mean, you are comparing two different things here, okay? Just because he fires people on TV shows or in real life, part of his businesses, that is based around the idea of people's individual hardworking merit and whether or not they can do a job. Then you compare it exactly to having access to warheads to shoot at entire countries if need be. So this is why this is why actors should just stay acting and have no say in regards to politics or propaganda. But hey, you people just keep on believing them. You can only vote because they tell you to. See, they got Neil Patrick Harris in there, the gay token guy. Actually, he's pretty cool and I do like him. So, you know, I'm excusing a lot of these actors, uh, actors participation in this stupid bias propaganda bullshit, save the day vote only because they are getting paid and they are doing what they do best. They are acting. This isn't real people. They are acting for fuck's sakes. But we can end this nightmare before it begins. We can save the day. Ooh. Why, hello. Who is that man? Ooh, look at his eyes. Ah, oh, damn. He is one fine-looking piece of meat. So is it semi-racist of me, a white male, to kind of perv on this black man with the beautiful eyes? Or does that make me interracial? Does that mean that I'm not a racist? Just fuck me now, please. For our children. For our children. For our children. For our communities. For our communities. For our communities. Yep, they use the children card, and then they use the community card. If you don't vote, you're hurting the children. Oh, won't somebody please think of the children? If you don't vote, you're hurting your community. Listen to what we have to say, because we're high-paid actors doing this scripted propaganda bullshit in order for you to influence you to not vote for Trump. A white man, by the way. For America. For America. For America. Did you hear that, guys? She really teared up. This actress who acts for a living is tearing up over an ad. Please vote because she will be devastated if you don't. Uh, for America. Where's my fucking tissues? Oh, God. Any of you who vote for Trump is non-American. You might as well be Canadian or something. <laughs> all it takes is all of us. All of us. All of us. We cannot pretend both sides are equally unfavorable. 
Well, at least they're being a little bit honest here, saying things like how crooked Hillary is because she's done more harm in her roughly 30 years of politics than Donald Trump ever has in his lifetime. It's hard to choose, isn't it? Because if you don't choose Hillary, you're known as a sexist or misogynist woman hater. And if you choose Trump, well, then you're still a racist man hater misogynist. <laughs> You don't really leave a lot of options for Americans, do you? We can't say one vote doesn't matter. Your vote matters. Your vote matters. It affects everything. Does it affect your paycheck, Miss Johansson, as a famous million dollar worth actress? Does it affect your paycheck? Does your opinion have anything to do with, with fucking politics? Does it? No, probably not. Probably because that's not part of the script, is it? Not just the presidency, but the Senate. The House. Your local officials. Immigration. Immigrant. Yeah, Nathan Fillion, you're from my hometown of Edmonton. That's right, you're Canadian. Why are you even in this fucking ad? You aren't American. You can't vote for this. And you know what? Probably that immigrant woman is maybe illegal. I'd question that. I, I definitely would question that. Student debt. Common sense gun laws. The Supreme Court. See, this isn't just an election, it's a tipping point. For the country. For the world. For your world. Make America great again. Just saying. If you don't know how or where to register, go to save the day dot vote. Save the day dot vote. Make yourself heard. Tell the world that you care about what happens to it. Yeah, a lot of Americans are speaking up because they do care about the status of America. They do care about it and where it's heading. The fact that the rest of the world makes fun of Americans is an important thing for Americans, okay? I'm not a fan of patriotism because I think sometimes it can get uh, Americans too big of an ego. Their head will explode because of how patriotic they are. But I think right now that America needs this. America needs to show the world that they are a great nation, that they used to be a great nation, and that they helped shape the rest of the world in regards to law, in regards to politics, in regards to equality rights, in regards to multiculturalistic viewpoints, and hopefully a move towards utopian kind of society. Like, they used to be great. Now they're the laughing stock of the world. Americans, you do need to think about this uh, election coming up. And you need to think hard and you need to think what's best for your country. I'm a Canadian and we are influenced by American politics all the time, not only just ourselves, but we do take part of your, um, your up-to-date politics and all that. And it's sad. It's sad that you have these two candidates that half of them say that one is a racist asshole, the other half saying that is a criminal because <coughs> she is. These are your choices. And sadly, like, you're going to have to make that hard decision. What do you want America to be? Do you want America to go continuing down a shithole of shit? Or do you want to make it great again? Think about it. And if you do vote and help protect this country from fear and ignorance, Mark will do a nude scene in his next movie. Oh, so I see you're going to sweeten the deal with showing people your bare ass. Hey, Mark Ruffalo, you're looking old. So I'm guessing that your ass is going to be quite wrinkly. Or at least your ball sack will be like, really bad, too. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo will do a nude scene in his next movie. Wait, what? What? If this is the ad's attempt at being funny, you are, you are selling sex, basically. You are selling off Mark Ruffalo. Let me guess. Did he get a million dollars every time his name was mentioned because it's part of his contract as an actor? They're all fucking acting, you idiots. Ugh! Mark will do a nude scene. Mark's gonna have his dick out. Full Monty. Full Marky. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Go oh, no. I'm Mark Ruffalo and I'm I'm disagreeing with this. It's like, oh yeah, I'm totally for this, for this script, this thing that I have to act and make it look like I'm so humble. Oh my god. Feminism. Go to save the day dot vote. When nobody talked about Nobody talked about it? Bullshit. It's part of the script, sweetheart. Don't lie to us. Why are you treating us like we're so fucking stupid? We can see right through this. Or at least most sane people. Mm-hmm. Sit on this and rotate. Save the day. Make Mark be naked. 
by making your mark on November 8th. They should just vote because it matters, you know? Don't you think? We're all in this together. That's why the most popular or memorable actor is the last one you see. Really? <laughs> yeah, really. Okay, now this is like degenerating into something fucking stupid. First, it started off with the importance of Americans going in to vote for the candidate that will represent the presidency of your country and will help uplift it. And now they're making it as a joke. They're they're just trying to they're trying to ease the tension, let's just say. And, and like I just oh, why why is this here? You are taking something that's very critical and very important and you're making a joke out of it. Like and whereas the only joke I see are you. Really? Yeah, and let's end it with the immigrant woman holding a sign. Save the day, please, for the love of God, save me. A possible illegal immigrant from, <laughs> from enjoying your welfare, your food stamps, and all your programs to help save me, an illegal. Ah, guys, I'm just assuming here, so she's probably legal, I don't know. She's probably got a good paycheck from this uh, video as well. Mm -hmm. Not as good as Scarlett Johansson and uh, Robert Downey Jr., though. That I can guarantee. All right, guys, there it is. Save the day. Public announcement for all the average, low-income, semi-stupid Americans who are too dumb uh, to vote without the help of celebrities. Celebrities who make millions of dollars, who read off a script in order to pressure you into voting not Trump. Because we all know that Trump is a racist. Trump is misogynist. Trump is everything that is wrong with America. He speaks his mind, he's honest about shit, and he's non-PC, but no. Let's have these celebrities thought police you and what you say and do so that you vote the correct way. Oh yeah, and don't forget they used Mark Ruffalo basically to uh, show off his bum. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely, I definitely want to see Mark Ruffalo's old wrinkly ass. You know what I would like to see though? I don't I, I don't mind that. Couldn't why don't you make that offer? If I was American, I definitely would vote for Hillary just to see his ass. Just saying. Anyways, guys, so uh if any Americans are seeing my video response to this say of the day, the best I can do for you is vote who you want, do your research, look at every angle in regards to your presidential candidates. You know, Hillary Clinton, who has almost 30 years under her belt in politics, but yet she has done so much harm. Uh, the email scandal, Benghazi, like she's had people uh, who have threatened her magically disappear. Um, and she's just, she's a fucking feminist too, saying that the people who suffer most during war times are the women, except for the men and some women soldiers who are going across the world who possibly die from warfare and the ones that are fortunate enough to actually survive this warfare go back and don't have any governmental programs to help them. They end up on the streets as homeless. Their spouses will leave them and they have uh, no rights to their children and actually suffer PTSD. But no, it's the women who suffer the most from war. So like you have that as candidate number one and then you have Donald Trump, a businessman who has run hundreds of businesses, employed millions of people um, who says it as it is, who's not PC, who wants to tackle real situations, real problems that America is having right now in regards to illegal immigration, possible domestic terrorists, uh, bringing in people who are a possible threat to your country. Like, like, this ad, these celebrities, they don't care they don't care. Why? Because they're getting paid money to act, to do what they've been trained to do, what they went to school for, and what they've done for the last couple of years in gaining uh, popularity. It's a popularity contest with these celebrities. They are the popular kids in high school, while you are the fat or nerdy or dumb kid or the drama geek who likes to play saxophone in band class. You are the losers to them. Okay, they don't give a shit about you. 
They don't really give a shit about your vote because it won't really affect them, will it? They're up in the upper class spectrum, while the rest of you Americans are in the middle class to lower class to even the impoverished class, okay? They are bossing you. They are telling you to go vote the way they want it. And I'm sure they're in the pockets of Hillary Clinton. <laughs> no doubt about it. I mean, they go where the money flows. If Donald Trump were to pay them, I bet you anything they would still be making the same ad, but only towards Hillary Clinton, telling you not to vote for her, a criminal and a liar. It's a matter of who gets paid more. It's always down to money, isn't it, Robert Downing Jr.? It's always about the paycheck, isn't it, Scarlett Johansson? Fuck. Oh, yeah, and fuck Mark Ruffalo. You know, you were actually a really good actor up until you opened up about being a male feminist. Your fucking quote there, calling out anti-feminists or women who don't identify as feminist. <laughs> Not realizing that the whole point of feminism was to give women choice. To say what they felt and have a say in their lives without the use of a man dictating it right? And you get upset over these women who choose not to identify with your fucking cult ideology. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, let's shame them. Let's shame these women into feeling bad about their own personal decision making. Like, <laughs> you're a fucking joke. All right? You're a joke. Anyways, guys, so sorry. I've been kind of sick lately. That's why I haven't really been making a lot of videos. I feel a lot better now. I still have a sore throat. So, Apologies for that. I hope to make some more. I just need more time. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, you know the drill. Leave comments below on how you think I did with this video. Uh, what do you think about these celebrities force feeding this idea that you need to vote for who they want? I mean, they don't, they're not affected by this whatsoever. So they're just doing this for fun. And remember people, they're just actors. They don't give a shit about you. They just want to go where the money flows. All right, guys, you take care of each other, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.